Hi guys, I wanted to give you guys an update on my seedlings. It's been one week since I planted these down in my basement. I have these fluorescent lights, two sets of lights with um, that each have two sets of bulbs. I do hang these from metal um, chains and I do have them like only maybe two or three inches above the covers of these seed trays. And then as the plants grow, I will be elevating the light source once the seedlings reach a few inches up. So let's take the covers off and see how my seedlings have done after one week. And I'm growing my hardy annuals down here in the basement. And then in a few weeks, I will grow my summer annuals. Um, so what I started here was uh, a few different types of hardy annuals. I have uh, two different types of Snapdragon, the Rocket Mix and then TGW Pink. Um, these ones here, this entire tray is the um, Rocket Mix and they're just starting to pop up. Just yesterday they started popping up. So everything looks healthy. This tray is a little bit damper than I want it to be. So as soon as I see leaves, you know, on these seedlings, I will take off the cover because I don't want it to be overly saturated or I could risk losing my seedlings to damping off. This next tray over here is the Feverfew, which had really good germination rates. Um, uh, almost every, I, I probably overseeded. I think I, I had like three or four seeds in each tray. And then in the back is the Blue Plurum, and that hasn't germinated yet. And I did read that Blue Plurum likes darkness. So I did make sure to push those seeds in under the soil just a bit. And I may put like a piece of cardboard over the back just to keep them dark uh, for a week and see if that helps. I am going to um, plant my Blue Plurum out in, um, in jugs outside with the winter sowing method. I'm just waiting to get a few more containers. So um, I know Blue Plurum is tricky to germinate. And then over here is some more Snapdragons. These are the TGW Pink. Um, they're so tiny. They just started germinating last night, just started popping up. Um, so those are really teeny tiny. Then in the middle here, I have a few uh, Rubecchia Prairie Sun that just started to pop up. And then in the back, um, these ones are, let's see, I think it's not the Orlea. I planted a few Orlea that, ha that hasn't germinated yet. Oh, oh, it's the soapwort. I believe this is the soapwort. Now, normally I do label my seeds and I was supposed to label them, but I got preoccupied and didn't label these. So, um, we'll see in a, in a couple weeks what this is, but I think this is the soapwort. Now I'm actually, I grow a perennial type of soapwort in my yard by my mailbox. It's a very pretty low growing perennial. It only grows a couple inches tall. Um, this soap board here is for cut flowers. It's a taller spray type of flower, uh, very small pink blooms. Um, so this is the cut flower soap board. And then over here, I had really good germination with the Cerinth. Um, and I'm so excited for this flower. I just really like the look of it. Um, it has like bluish green flowers and these plants look pretty healthy. So basically I'm going to keep watching these and I'll keep giving you updates. Um, I, may, I am gonna do some more winter sowing in containers outside. I'll show you some of that. And then in March, I'll be sowing all my, um, all my summer annuals.